Have you ever experienced a song getting stuck in your head for a whole day? Nearly everyone has. Dr. Liikkonen from Aalto University has made the world's first comprehensive study of involuntary musical imagery. Involuntary musical imagery basically means uh, that the skill that we have to uh, listen to music whenever we like uh, gets out of control and we start he hearing music even when we don't necessarily want that to happen. This phenomenon in which music gets stuck in your head um, is probably best known as earworms uh, from a German word. People have reported earworms in popular literature, for instance in Mark Twain, already in the 19th century, but we haven't re been studying them at all in the last 150 years after that. I wanted to find out uh, how common the earworms really are, because none of this was known before. I also wanted to know if there are any uh, systematic differences between different types of people, if it's possible uh, to create uh, earworm uh, experiences uh, in the lab artificially. I found that people who are younger uh, have more frequent earworms, also women have slightly more earworms than men. But what's more important, people who are actively uh, practicing music, listening to it, uh, singing, playing an instrument or composing something, have even more of these experiences than the rest of us. For musicians, the earworms are more likely instrumental music and they also play along even whole songs instead of just the chorus or some other small part of it. I see that studying earworms is important for several people. First, it can be important for psychologists who want to understand how human memory and musical cognition works. Second, it can be also interesting for people who do clinical work. Uh, when psychologists or psychiatrists try to uh, tell apart people who have uh, very bad symptoms of musical uh, imagery, uh, called musical obsessions or musical hallucinations, it's currently still unknown uh, what, what sort of differences there are between normal and uh, clinical conditions of musical imagery. There are many things I yet don't know about earworms, uh, for instance, why they actually emerge and how to stop them. This is something I would like to find out in the future.